In the world of speedrunning, there seems to be no shortage of people who will lie for a bit of that juicy, delicious clout, that amazing social currency that everyone wants and desires, that juicy view number going up, that incredible amount of revenue you can generate if you have it. So today we are reacting to Streamer Fake's Blindfold Speedrun for Clouds. Now, blindfolded speedruns are incredibly impressive, but this wouldn't be the first time that someone's faked a blindfolded speedrun. There was a very famous one back in the day on Mario 64, where in front of everyone, this person seemingly could defeat the entire game blindfolded, which some other people could do as well, but he was just very, very strangely good at it. Turns out, he faked the entire thing. He could see the whole time. But it's always the people that are really good at the game that do this. I mean, you can't get a good run unless you're actually good at the game. So why not just use that skill to your advantage? Why fake things? Why ruin your reputation? Card Jobs usually does, usually does very, very good exposés on people doing nefarious things for clout. And please, dude, he's so close to a million subscribers. Go and subscribe to Carl. His videos are fantastic. There's so many of them. He did a very good job exposing the whole completionist situation. But now we're talking about someone new. Hello, you absolute legends. War. War never changes. And neither does pretending to play a video game blindfolded for clout. It's a take. Which they are the same thing, obviously. Look at that! There's the person! This is the same one. That's exactly what I mentioned before. The Mario 64 streamer. Hell as old as time. And 60% of the time, it works. Every time. In theory, it's- I like a nice little Anchorman reference. The perfect plan. First, cover your eyes with a thin sheet of material. Thin being the key word. I can't stress enough that if the material is too thick, you won't be able to see, which will make it very hard to play the game. Yeah, that'll make it really hard to do your blindfolded run. You need to be able to see during your blindfolded run. Otherwise, you can't fake it very well. Then, you pretend to do something that otherwise wouldn't take much skill. For example, beat Super Mario 64 or beat one relatively difficult boss. Once completed, and this step is also quite critical, Hold on. It says at the top, Alatrion kills, and I'm probably saying that wrong because I haven't played Monster Hunter, which I deeply apologize for. That's my bad. But it says 4,193. Is she a shiny hunter? What is she doing? Why, why did we kill that many times? I'm sure it's going to be explained to us, but that seems like a ludicrous amount of times to beat one dragon over and over again. Pretend to act surprised. You really want to milk this part as much as possible. Talk about how much you can't believe it and how nervous you are. Finally, post a clip of your achievement to the subreddit of a popular streamer. What you can do after you've killed this dragon over 4,000 times, blindfolded greatsword kill, only using sound cues on the Asmongold subreddit. Preferably one who doesn't know much about blindfolded runs and wouldn't immediately know it's obviously fake. If you're lucky, they'll watch it on stream. And if your plan has come this far, congratulations. You're and then Asmongold will say something along the lines of, wow, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Damn, I can't believe she did that. That's really that's really hard. Now, internet famous. Your feet will go down in history as one of the all-time greats. However, I must warn you, this plan- I love how the chat is already against the, the streamer. Risk. They're like, ah, this kind of- this kind of looks weird. Like, you can't memorize the monsters moving. Like, what? what is- this is weird. It's too popular. It may be seen by someone who actually- the camera adjustments are suspicious. Hmm. Know the thing or two about blindfolded speedrunning. And if this happens, you're absolutely screwed. Now, you're internet famous for a different reason. And before you know it, obscure speedrunning channels are making videos about you, racking up millions of views. These are the actual Monster Hunter players, I believe, that are like, hey, we play this game. Why, why are you playing like this if you're blindfolded? Saucy level 8 out of 10 trying to dodge the first double head swipe, which has no audio cue. Today, we will be looking at- Hey, no, 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 she's just so good at the game that she knows when the no audio cue attacks happen, because otherwise there would be an audio cue for a separate attack, but there wasn't, so she knows it's the double head strike. See, that's just how much of a gamer you can be when you- kill someone 4,193 times. At the streamer queen pones a lot, who recently faked a blindfolded takedown of the dragon Alatreon in the game Monster Hunter World. Unfortunately for queen pones a lot, yeah, she is doing like slight camera adjustments. I'm actually noticing that she's keeping the monster in frame with like these small adjustments to look at the monster. Now, I suppose you could know where the monster is in relation to your character by where the like spatial audio is coming from. If that's how it works in Monster Hunter, I, I assume it does because she has like headphones on. But it is strange that she's just keeping the guy in she frame. She didn't do her research because what she- Look, see, now, now centered she again. produced was one of the most unrealistic fakes I've ever seen. 
in today's video. We are Dude, I've never played Monster Hunter before and I've already catching on to a few things here, but uh, I'm, I'm sure Carl's gonna absolutely break this down really, really take well. take a look at her run, and I'll explain why it's fake. And if you've never tried to do a blindfolded run before, you'd probably miss this one crucial detail that makes her gameplay simply impossible. And while you're here, please do me a favor and subscribe. I am dangerously close to a million subs, and it would mean a lot. I yeah, really, really close. In fact, by the time that this video has gone up, Carl might have hit a million subs. You should be part of that I really million. hope you enjoy. Now, Legends, it was Valentine's Day yesterday, so naturally, me and my lovely wife went out for dinner. Anyone who knows me knows I like to have a drink, so of course, I decided to wet my whistle. Okay, what are we going for? Oh, you wet your whistle a couple of times. What's that? I we got some... It looked like the first one was like a coffee-based coffee coffee drink. The next day, though, which is why I started the night with today's video sponsor, Z-Biotics. Z-Biotics Probiotic is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was yeah? invented by a PhD scientists to help you feel better in the morning after drinking. Here's scientists. How it also, works. there is the, the QR codes right there. You want to get the QR code? The link will be in the description of his video, which of course will be in the description of this video. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. It's this byproduct that is a major contributing factor to feeling rough the next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme to break this byproduct product down. Man, I get the worst hangovers too. I might, I might actually need this. My hangovers are so bad. I'm such a lightweight. It's like one Long Island iced tea and I'm like kind of feeling it a bit. And then the next day, always feel Just sick. Just remember to make Zbiotics your first drink of the night, drink responsibly, and you'll feel your best tomorrow. Look, I love to drink, but I'm also a very busy guy. I can't be spending my Sunday recovering on the couch. That's why I've been using Zbiotics to try and feel as good as I can the next day. Zbiotics.com slash Carl Jobs or scan the QR code on screen to get 15% off your first order when you use Carl Jobs at checkout. You can also sign up for a subscription using my code so you can stay prepared no matter the time or occasion. Zbiotics also comes with a 100% money back guarantee, so if That's you're not a loss. for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. That's Again, huge. Click the link in the description and use code Carl Jobs for 15% off. That's all right to use because you, you'll, you'll be able to know if it works or not. And if it comes with a money back guarantee, you're like, okay, it didn't work. Then you can get your money back. It's pretty good. Seemingly fake a blindfolded run of anything is extremely difficult. Until you actually sit down for hours trying to do something without looking, it's almost impossible to truly understand the hurdles and problems you're going to face. Some people think that just because they play something a lot, they know exactly how to play it. They know exactly what to do. I absolutely not. No, I have played Pokemon a, a quintillion times. If I was blindfolded, I would have no idea where to go. Actually, the only person that I know that would be good at blindfolded Pokemon is my friend John Stone, who played the entirety of Pokemon Red and Blue completely blindfolded. It successfully completed. He did it. He, he's he's the king. It's very simple when you. He's the blindfold guy. It wasn't completely. And he has a proper blindfold. This this is a proper blindfold on. Where you actually cannot see what's going on. See, even the eyes are closed on it too. See, she, if they were wearing a blindfold with the eyes closed, I would believe them. This is why when someone does pretend to play without looking, it's usually immediately apparent it's not legitimate. People who don't do enough research into blindfolded runs, or who haven't really spent a lot of time doing them, don't know what is or isn't possible, and they don't know what is or isn't reasonable. One trap people can easily fall into is assuming that if you've practiced something a lot in general, that means you might be able to do it blindfolded. Absolutely this not. Is far from true. Ask any world class speed runner and they will tell you that it doesn't matter how much you practice something with your eyes open, doing it blind is a totally different beast. The streamer we are looking at today, Queen Pones a lot, didn't understand this concept. When it comes to the game Monster Hunter, she's an expert, and she's especially good at battling the monster Alatreon, which is- Which again, I have to question, why would you battle the same monster 4,500 times? I mean, I, I guess you could ask the same question, like, why would you do shiny hunting? Why would you stay encounter the same Pokemon for thousands and thousands of times? But you get something at the end of it. There must be something that you get. Let me see, it's like a rare drop that she's going for, right? I, I haven't played Monster Hunter, so I actually don't know. It's one of the hardest fights in the game. She has killed it over 4,500 times, and she even calls herself the Alatreon Queen. By the time you hit like 500 kills, you're like, okay, I mean, maybe we could do like, maybe we do something else at this point, right? Everything I could possibly compare it to that I have done in the past, like Kaizo Ironmon that took hundreds and hundreds of runs, has a goal at the end, which is to complete the run. And I haven't been able to complete the run until you get your one completion, which take hundreds of runs. But if you successfully beat it 4,500 times, what, 
What is the result of that? What do you get from she's that? She's definitely skilled at this fight. And she assumed that because she's good at this fight, it's plausible that she could do it blindfolded. And if she did do it blindfolded, that'd be really cool. Difficult gaming feats can get a huge amount of attention on YouTube or Reddit. So there is definitely a lot of incentive to do them. The 12th of January would be the day it happened. Queen Ponzalot had been practicing, and she was ready to blow the world away. Now, I'm going to give you a huge spoiler warning. If you don't want to know how this story ends, please stop watching now. Is it that she didn't actually do it blindfolded and that she could see the whole time? But the big M. Night Shyamalan twist is that she can actually see through her blindfold. I mean, yeah, the camera adjustments really do give it away, I mean, don't even they? We can see through her blindfold. Oh man, yeah, you can. Oh no, you her goal. See through okay, her blindfold. that's really I mean, funny. Even yeah, you can see <laughs> through it. You can already see through it. That's so funny. Can I just like go frame by frame here? Yeah, you can literally see through it right there. You can see through. It's like trans. It's not. It's not opaque. It's it's translucent or transparent or one of the two. Whatever the the see through one is. Old. When she puts it on or takes it off, we can quite literally see straight through it. This is why whenever you go to fake blindfold school, they teach you on day one never to put a light source directly behind you. When which is a big thing. A lot of people go to fake blindfold school. It's actually the, the tuition fee is quite large. There's a huge demand. When she puts the blindfold on, she does it very carefully, making sure that there is only one thin layer of fabric between oh, yeah. her eyes and the monitor. Oh, look, and with the way that it folds up, it's just below her eyes when she folds it up too. You can even prove this to yourself by pulling your shirt over your eyes, and you'll see that you can easily see straight through it. Whoa. Before she even starts playing, we already know this is fake. Her gameplay, however, is so unrealistic, wow. it's shocking that anyone ever wow. took this seriously. Dude, Queen he's so good. Queen lot is a comic book superhero. She is the living incarnation of the Marvel character Daredevil. Just by sound alone, she knows exactly where Alatreon is at all times. And going further, not only does she know where Alatreon is, she knows exactly where its head is. Normally, in blindfolded runs, people will use the lock-on feature to face enemies. With lock-on, the game automatically faces you towards the monster, so it eliminates all of the guesswork. And honestly, yeah. with Lock-On, Alatreon isn't a hard fight to do blindfolded. It's been done before. But Queen okay. owns a lot doesn't use Lock-On at all. Instead, she just free balls the entire fight. There's a good reason she doesn't use Lock-On, actually, and that's because if she used the automatic aiming function, she wouldn't be able to target Alatreon's head. And she needs to hit the head in order to do enough damage with the weapon and strategy she's using. Okay, so I guess the head does like at least like two to three times as much damage. It must be a really substantial difference if we need to target the head every single time in order to do enough damage to actually win. But as you're watching this gameplay, just look at how she adjusts the camera just to keep him in frame Queen constantly. Queen Pondalot claims that by using directional sound, she can Ooh. locate the position of the dragon. And it's true that humans can determine the general direction a sound comes from, and even to an extent, the distance. But there is a reason Daredevil is a superhero with his ability ability to locate things using sound. It's because humans can't do that effectively or reliably. We aren't bats or dolphins. When it comes to blindfolded gaming, this has been tried and tested for decades. It's simply not possible and no one can do it. Blindfolded gamers do not rely upon sound in this way. They always use consistent setups or automatic aiming functions. It would be difficult enough using real sound in the real world, let alone the less precise inputs from a video game played through head Headphones. And yet, what's super interesting is that the true extent of just how unfeasible this task is will be lost on 99% of viewers. As one of those 99% of viewers who hasn't played this game before and hasn't encountered this dragon fight before, I can only assume that it's Dark Souls, Elden Ring, Bloodborne level of difficulty. It's a very, very hard fight. And there's probably a lot of specificities around the fight that make it specifically very hard to do blindfolded, especially if you're not using the lock-on feature, especially if you're trying to target the heads, which kind of give away the fact that she's maybe not being so honest with this. Many people instinctively know that humans can't pinpoint things using sound in this way, but they do know that it's theoretically possible to have some idea about what's going on. Uh, the spatial sounds, you can see like, oh, this something is in front of me. You might know, ex not, you don't, probably don't know exactly where, in front of you is. But you could say, okay, it's in front of me right now. Boom, he has something to the side. It's it's somewhere over in that direction now. You're not gonna know exactly where. It could be like that, it could be like there, but it's, it's somewhere to the right of you. 
you're not going to know exactly where the position is. We know that if we hear something in our left ear more than our right ear, we know the sound is coming from the left. So when we watch this gameplay, it obviously looks unrealistic, but we can understand why someone might think it's possible to do. But there is something far more egregious going on here in this gameplay that almost everyone will miss. And it is it the, is it the slight camera tilts towards him? I feel like it is. The fact that the monster is always squarely in the middle of the camera and there's slight adjustments being made. That's what I feel like it is. It's hidden in plain sight. While everyone is debating the feasibility of locating where the monster is using sound, Queen Ponzala is doing something far more impossible that you probably didn't even consider. I, I can't even think of anything else. Far more impossible, maybe dodging the moves? Is it because there's no sound cues coming from the moves, so it'd be impossible to dodge the moves exactly? I mean, she she just dodged that move exactly. She ra wait, she ran to the right slightly, and it dodged it perfectly. If she ran to the left, she would have still been caught up in the fire because she didn't have enough distance and time to get away from the attack entirely. So is it the dodges? I'm going to show you some clips and try to identify what the problem is. Okay. All right, here we go. So we got... It's, it's just, it's the way the character's moving just seems. Look at that one. That was crazy. Control over the elements. I, I feel like there's very few sound cues coming from, although I'm not an expert at this game. and I, I really haven't played it before. The, the sound that's coming from these attacks are either like completely muted. That they're basically nothing. There's like no sound whatsoever that would indicate that a certain move is about to be used, or it's the, the slight adjustments in the character and the camera. I've selected some extreme examples here to highlight what's going on, but it's important to know that Queen Ponzalot is doing this constantly at all times, to some extent, probably without even realizing it. In the clips I showed, she entered the menu to use an item, and in doing so, accidentally tilted the camera to face upwards. She doesn't talk and then she slightly adjusted it again. Always tilt the camera when using items, but in these particular cases, she did. Immediately oh. after exiting the menu, she fixes the camera, moving it back to a more neutral position. This isn't something- Which you wouldn't do if you were blindfolded, because you wouldn't even know that you'd accidentally tilted the camera uploads if you genuinely couldn't see anything. That makes sense. Specific to her blindfolded runs either. This is a habit that she has even when she can see. It's so habitual that she kept doing it blindfolded, not realizing that you need to see in order to know you've done this. This is a problem, because there is no reliable audio cue that tells you where you're facing on the vertical axis. Why did she know she was facing up? How did she know how much she was facing up? How did yeah, she perfectly adjusted the camera so that it was centered again, it was neutral. You could maybe make the assumption that, okay, I've been in the menu and I clicked up, I came out of the menu, I'm probably looking up in some kind of way. You wouldn't know how up you're looking if you couldn't see, though. She fixed her camera perfectly and so quickly. How is she able to do this over and over and over again? The fact that you can't tell whether you're looking up or down actually ends up being a bigger problem than locating the enemy on the horizontal axis. There is no reason or mechanism that explains why she's able to keep the camera in a neutral, vertical position the entire fight. You can easily test this yourself jump into a game and close your eyes, then randomly scramble the camera position. Then try to use the audio cues to get your vertical alignment back to neutral. Oh Open yeah, it'd be impossible. See how close you were. You'll find that you can't do this reliably, if at all. If you do manage to do this 1000 times in a row, like Queen Pones a lot, you're probably cheating. Congratulations, you are a literal superhero. Again, <laughs> this is a problem that has been faced before, and anyone who has or will ever try to do this will always end up looking at the floor or looking straight up. There Does the auto lock-on feature not fix the vertical axis, though? I mean, I, I assume it would... I guess if you're not using the auto lock-on feature, then it wouldn't, but that seems like the most reliable way to do Here's this. a way to center the camera and put it back to neutral by pressing a button, similar to pressing Z in Ocarina of Time, but Queen Pones a lot never uses this, and always... Yeah, and you could tell if it was being used because it would move in such a specific and certain way and it would lock onto the same area every single time. So you can see that she's not using Move that. the camera with her mouse. I'm guessing she was so focused on trying to make her horizontal movement believable that she never even considered the vertical movement and just did it without thinking. But it's flat out impossible. The irony is that when using the greatsword, looking up or down achieves nothing. It doesn't let you hit higher and it doesn't change your weapon range. The only 
it just keeps the monster in vision so that you can actually still see it. Which if you're blindfolded, obviously you wouldn't even the need. The reason to keep the camera in a neutral position would be to keep the enemy on screen, which is pointless if you're blindfolded. If you were interested in keeping the camera in a neutral position, you can simply turn off the ability to look up or down in the game settings. Oh, that'd be pretty useful. Although I imagine that would be probably detrimental in some way. You might need it for something. Which is probably a good idea if you're running this blindfolded. Can't believe no one in chat told her to but do of that. Of course, Queen Pones a lot doesn't do this, and just magically knows where she is looking at all times. After she did her solo effort, about a week later, she would don the blindfold again, and this time beat Alatreon in a 4v1 group attempt. This one didn't go up on her YouTube channel and wasn't shared around, so you probably didn't hear about it. But it's even more insane. Now, okay. she has three other team members all making sounds too, but she's able to perfectly distinguish the dragon's sounds and know its location without any problems. Yeah, that is more ridiculous. Way more Her ridiculous. Her is so good, in fact, that she can even tell who the dragon is targeting with... Oh, she truly is the daredevil. She's... she's got a quirk. You have to understand. She's from My Hero Academia Land. She's got a quirk. It allows her to hear and differentiate. She's got dog hearing and cat hearing all fused into one. It's like some strange amalgamation of eardrums that is superior to anyone else in the world. It's attacks. Take this sequence, for example. She expertly dodges this attack when Alatreon swipes at her. An attack that doesn't oh, yeah. have a sound... Yeah, look at that, look at that. Look at that perfect dodge. You, you can use to know... And with no sound cue either, as well. It's Jesus. Coming. But when it turns to attack the other players, she doesn't dodge at all, and even knows where the attack is mm. going. She Very curious. She with her camera at... <laughs> yeah, she even tilts the camera to keep it completely focused in the exact middle of the screen, which is the most unbelievable part about this, is that she always knows exactly where in the middle of the game this character is, which you might think sounds easy, and you're like, I, I, I can tell because it's like, I can hear it from over there, so it's clearly over there. But to get it exactly in the middle of the screen every single time, when we don't have enough spatial awareness to know to the centimeter, to the percentage points where a character would be, especially if it's something not in real life, it's inside of a video game as well. It's happening. She's good, man. She's real good. And she can even play like this with other monsters too. So this isn't just her being really good with Alatreon. She can do this against any opponent. She legitimately has a superpower and scientists need to study this woman's hearing as soon as possible. On the 2nd of February, Queen Ponzalot posted the clip of her first Alatreon blindfolded victory to her YouTube channel. A fun Twitch challenge. I am still shocked had happened. <laughs> a couple of days later. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. I see a fatal error here. I see a fatal error. The most egregious error that Queen Ponzalot has made in this entire situation, the worst thing that she has ever done is... She uploaded this video at 7 minutes and 57 seconds. Now, if you know a lot, a lot about YouTube, you know that if you make a video 8 minutes or longer, then you can run mid-roll advertisements in it, which means that she did not make it long enough. 3 seconds too short for mid-roll advertisements. A rookie mistake, I might add. Just a little note for the future. You always make your video at least 8 minutes long for mid-roll advertisements. Her first Alatreon blindfolded victory to her YouTube channel. A couple of days later, one of her fans posted it to the Asmongold subreddit, at which time one of her Discord moderators tagged everyone in her Discord, telling them to upvote the post. What? Attention everyone! This is a call to arms! Oh wait, hold on, I need, I need to get like a... We, we, need, we need some music for this. Your voices have been heard, but someone beat Queen to the punch and posted her Alatatron blindfolded solo footage to Asmongold's Reddit page. Our Queen needs you to go and upvote the video so that Asmongold watches it, comment on it, sing her praise, show her how much we support her. There will be many who doubt her legitimacy. Her, can I just kind of say her is, is with a capital H, like you would refer to a literal monarch or even a god, which is insane. Wow. But her army watched her make history live. Do your queen proud. Comments, like, share, and raise her up. This is huge. Queen's army, we march on. Wow, that is the worst thing I think I have ever seen in my life. This is, is this, is this a moderator at 5 a.m.? Okay, there could be time zone issues here. So I'm not going to say it's, you know, someone waking up at 5 a.m. to ch type this out because, wow, that would be, that's quite, quite the way, it, quite the way to start your day. Hey, man, that's, 
That's certainly something to do with your morning coffee. This is is quite embarrassing. I'm sure we can all see why this is quite embarrassing. You should definitely not talk about a Twitch streamer in this way. I um, would be very, very uh, uncomfortable if any of my, my fans talked about me in, in this way. So please, please don't. This is a normal person. In fact, this is a, a person that is actually a cheater, so. <laughs> wow, that's, this is tough. Our queen, dude, the, the capital H on the her is sending me through loops. I cannot believe that. That is so specifically done. That is actual hero worship type of type in here. It's ridiculous. Please tell me, is, is, is there more posts? There's, there's gotta be more posts from this guy, please. This message is amazing. Attention everyone, this is a call to arms. Okay, I did, I did read this out, so I feel like we could probably... I just want to know if there's more. There'll be many who doubt her legitimacy, but yeah. her army watched her make history live. Her Do army. Queen proud. This is how they refer to the god emperor of mankind in the Warhammer 40k universe. When they say him, they do with a capital H because they believe that he is the true god and ruler of all. Comment, <laughs> like, share, and raise her up. This is huge. Queen's army, we march on. Shockingly, Crikey. this worked, and Asmongold did in fact watch it on stream and even posted a VOD of his reaction to his YouTube channel. Did people read that message and think, yeah, yeah, I'm part of this. This is this is the community I want to be a part of. <laughs> I mean, listen, is yeah? it really hard to believe that somebody couldn't pull this off after 4,000 kills? I bet, I bet this is real. Oh, as yeah, yeah. gold, you oh, beautiful dear. soul. You innocent, naive, ignorant, beautiful soul. This ended up backfiring, as now that the clip was somewhat popular, people- Why is she turning the camera, though? The chat is constantly talking about the camera. Who knew how to play the game, saw the clip, and instantly realized it was ridiculous. Does Asmongold not- I mean, he does read his chat. I know he reads his chat. I, I've seen, like, I've seen some videos from him. I've seen streams from him. I know that he reads his chat, so I'm wondering, like- What's his reply to all of that? It just, it doesn't really look that real. Maybe it's because I have a biased perspective because I'm watching a video of someone being called out. So I'm coming in with the prior knowledge of I know this person is cheating and I know this person is wrong. And now I can analyze it from the perspective of this is wrong. Whereas other people would go into it from the perspective of, okay, it could potentially be real. or Okay, I believe this is real from the beginning. Therefore, I'm not going on with that. That I looking out for errors like that. So I feel like I'm biased in this perspective because I already have the prior information. And maybe if I had just watched this by myself, I probably wouldn't have been able to figure it out because I'm a bit of an idiot. I'm a big, dumb, do dumb, stupid moron. The gamer Juzzy would then post a video highlighting all of the ways the gameplay was obviously fake. Asmongold would then react to this video and ultimately he concluded that maybe she could see through the blindfold. I think this is what the blindfold did. I think that it ups- No, okay, listen. If you have, say you do the show over your face trick, you, do, you, you pull the show over your face, you can still see, it's, it's just blurred. It's not completely obscured at all, it's just blurred. And the fabric that was used for the blindfold Honestly, it looked maybe just as thin or maybe thinner than a shirt would be. So when you pull your shirt above your head, and you can try this at home if you have a shirt <laughs> on hand. You can just pull over your head and you're like, okay, I can still see through this. Obscured 95% or 90% of her vision. It did not completely obscure it, which allowed her to use the tiny little pixels that, you know, equivalent of pixel that she can see that are giving her indicators of where the boss is. So she sees the guy's arm and it's like this, and she knows, okay, well then the head's gonna be here. Asmongold, I think you might be onto something. World-class blindfolded speedrunner Bubsia would also chime in, also declaring that her run was faked. Queen Pones a lot would not take these criticisms lying down, nor Oh, okay, so she responds to this. All right, well, let's see what all that's all about. Moderators accusing people who doubted her as just being incels who- Oh, let's-
Let's go! I love, oh, I love a good moderator response. Here we go. Never mind the thousands of special assignments we've held with, the thousands of hours we spent playing this game, the thousands of times we've killed a fucking video game dragon, post a fun video made for friends, hashtag not a speedrun, go back and tell your buddy how cool he is, tell him thanks for being a dick and the world's greatest incel, get a life and move out of your mother's basement. Now, do you want to talk shit or play some games? What What is this? What What is this guy even talking about? What, what is going on? What is What are they saying? Who lived in their mother's basement? She uploaded a video claiming that she was the victim of slander and malice. She was oh no, really? She really was Daredevil and really did possess superhuman hearing and the ability to know where she's looking based on nothing. She advertised an upcoming stream where she declared she was going to prove everyone wrong. When I saw this video, and I saw how confident Queen Ponzalot and her army was in the face of these accusations, I started second-guessing myself. Could everything I know about human anatomy or blindfolded gaming be wrong? Could the thousands of gamers who have dedicated themselves to blindfolded speedruns have missed something so simple? Maybe it was possible to just use your ears and play like normal. Maybe everyone had been doing it wrong the entire time. I was ready to have my entire universe blown to pieces. And the revelation, the ending to this whole calamity. Honestly, I like. thought she was going to back out. But just okay. like she said, on the 14th of February, she went live. This okay. time she had a new blindfold. But before she started playing, she wanted to prove that the blindfold she was using before wasn't transparent. She used a powerful torch to show that no light was getting through. But wait a minute, mm. this blindfold isn't the same. She yeah, it's not. It's not the same piece of fabric. It's like very easily, you can, t you can tell that it's, it's different. changed it. This is what it was like before. Now it's been folded up. And you can yeah, it's, even it's definitely see different. seam lines where she has obviously sewn it together and probably sewn some kind of material on the inside. The blindfold that was used the first time was like a very, very thin piece of fabric. The YouTuber Abisoft, who was there, asked her to unfold the blindfold, which is what it was like when she used it before. But she refused and timed him out from the chat. <laughs> That's a no to the unfolded transparency test. Time out. Ooh, tough. Even before during this new attempt, she was gaslighting, avoiding questions, and banning people who were raising legitimate concerns. It's clear as day she is a very dishonest person who is willing to tamper with evidence and trick people. However, while she is a dirty liar and her pants are surely on fire, she is surely. also a magician. Her most recent attempt was amazing. She went on to beat Alatreon again with a proper blindfold on and okay. with paper covering her screen. Wait, paper? Paper? Wait, where's the paper? I can't hold on. The, oh yeah, yeah. There's a wait. There's that paper there. Paper covering her screen. Okay, there's gotta be something going on here. I'm excited to see what the result is gonna be from this. But a paper whole oh, hang about. Oh, she has like the full second camera setup as well. She's got the full. She's got the full blind on. There we go. Okay. So that that's the run. This hunt will go down in history. This hunt will it go was down so in history. Saying that once again, the opinion of the most important person in the world, Asmongold, had been changed. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it looks like the Altrion blindfold kill was actually real. It did actually happen. But does that mean she wasn't cheating? No, it doesn't. There were many obvious signs she was still cheating. Is she still doing the slight camera adjustment to keep the guy in the middle of the screen? And all of the issues with the vertical aiming still exist and are even amplified to the extreme. Plus, there were some really, really bizarre things that were going on as well. But in order to do this most recent attempt justice, we are going to need an entire video because oh. this rabbit hole is deep. Queen okay. Pantalot thinks she is sneaky enough to get by me, but unfortunately for her, I see everything. Oh, so damn! Ladies and gentlemen, mark your calendars for February 29, and we'll find 29? out if Queen lot is a literal superhero who can do things no other human can, or if she's just a deceptive streamer lying to her fans and pulling off the oldest trick in the book once again. I'm, I'm actually so excited to see the result of this. Holy shit! Damn, that's a good leader. That's a good way to build up some hype. Stay tuned. Please remember to subscribe. Thank Dude, you. Dude, uh, yeah, subscribe, subscribe. Please subscribe. You need to. You need to see this video. You need to see this video. I'm. I'm actually so excited for this now. Let's get him to a million. Come on, let's go, baby. I want to see this video. I think it's gonna be fantastic. I'm completely engrossed in the storyline now. I want to see because the second blindfold and and the paper in front of the screen. 
it, it leads more credence to it, right? But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how uh, the result ends up being. And subscribe to Carl Jobs again. Thank you so much. Check out his sponsor. Of uh, if, you're in, uh, if you drink a lot of, of alcohol and you're like, oh, I don't want to feel so bad. And uh, if you want to see more of my dumb face, you can always subscribe here as well.